C.F. Truca. I work for Kazuko Lodge in the Eastern Cape, South Africa. So we have got this cheetah project running, which is just behind us with the, with the little caps. We, um, we take cheetahs from captivity and we rewild them. So, so far we've taken five adult females, or four adult females and one male, five adults in total. We have given them the opportunity to start hunting for themselves. And all of these cats, within the first 10 days, managed to make at least one kill for themselves. Um, our most successful cheetahs, which currently at this stage is three, is completely self-sustaining. We do not feed them anymore. They manage to look after themselves and they manage to defend themselves. Having said that, the reason we manage this, to, or manage to do this, is because we have got fences around the property. So we need to, number one, fence out people and number two, fence in the animals. We need to make sure that we haven't got human wildlife conflict for an already sensitive species which are on the brink of extinction. So the only way we can do that is put up a fence around the property. In terms of what we do, we give the cheetahs the opportunity to learn how to hunt first. Once they manage to hunt, then we can move them out into an area where they will face large predators. So the first thing for us is they need to learn how to hunt. That is the core of what we do. In here, we breed the cheetahs with the idea that those caps that you can see behind me must be taught by mum how to hunt. So the female learns how to hunt, she takes the caps and she learns the caps how to hunt from there. From our perspective, it is very difficult to get these cheetahs in captivity to mate and that's why we create these safe areas for them where they can mate, get their caps and once the caps are big enough, they get moved so that they can learn um, lions and, and the other big predators. So in the area where they start, there's no large predators that they need to compete with for food or for safety. So we've got an area that's about 700 hectares behind us. Ideally, we're looking for a minimum of 500 hectares. In that area, it is an ample opportunity for them to start moving, hunting animals within, but also to create safety for these babies once they get moved out. And they, and they start looking after them. The, the important thing for us again to understand is we did not need to learn them anything. Instinct is there, regardless whether they come from captivity or semi-wild state. So the instinct is there and that just needs to kick in. Once that happens and those babies can hunt for themselves, they get moved, they get the opportunity to walk inside an area that's about 10,000 hectares. And once they start moving in that 10,000 hectares, they then need to start looking after themselves and protecting themselves from, from the predators. So far, we have experienced zero failures. Five adult cheetahs came in. Five adult cheetahs managed to make their kills within the first couple of days. That gives us a 100% success rate, taking only captive bred cheetahs, not semi-wild, only captive bred cheetahs um, and putting them out in the areas. So at this stage it's estimated that what we release between 70 to 80 percent of those cheetahs should survive. It's a difficult thing to put a number to but in essence if we can get a hundred percent success rate we will be very happy um, but realistically we will probably lose one or two cheetahs along the way especially to things like lions which is southern Africa's biggest threat to cheetahs is these large carnivores that they need to compete with. So and that's why we first need to remove the carnivore element and later on introduce them to that. So get it in the right phases, get them to hunt and then get them lion savvy from there. The main reasons for, for, for these possible failures in the future would most likely be the large animals. So things like lions, leopards and hyenas that they would be competing for in a, in, or competing with in a, in a large natural system. Um, at this stage, we don't foresee to, to lose any cheetahs for any other reason than the, the large carnivores. Yeah, cheetahs. Some of our females, this female is about four years old. We've got another female that's three and a half years old, which is very young. If you take a cheetah 18 months, 24 months, the same thing will happen. Once they start hunting, um, it will go very, very quickly from there. So probably within three to four months, they will be able to hunt for themselves and then two months getting to know lions before we move them to another reserve. So six months to go through that process and they become self-sufficient, self-sustaining. Thank you. Yeah. It's a pleasure.